Welcome to my channel, The Vent Craft. This channel is dedicated to showing you designs as well as tips, tricks and how to make various crafts ranging from hearts, fascinators, hand fan, bouquet and much more. So today we'll be showing you how to make this bow tie. But before we get into making it, let's have a runway show of the bow ties. Watch and enjoy. So that's our tie. We made five pieces actually for the groomsmen and we made these lapels to join with them. So that's the combination. Yes, and that's our packaging. And this was the D-Day. Yeah, so check out the groomsmen on our bow tie with matching lapels. Let us know what you think about this lapels and the bow tie in the comment section below. The first thing we do is to measure out the part that we're going to put our interfacing on. So I'm going to measure 2.5 from the left and 2.5 from the right side of our bow cutout part. This is the bow cutout part that is measured 10 by 5. I'll measure 1.6 from the top and 1.6 from the down. Remember this is the part of the bow, I'm making the bow right now. The part of the bow that we measured out 10 by 5 inches. So I take my interfacing, remember the interfacing is um, 5 by 2.5 and I'm going to put my B7000 on, on it, on the part that um, has gum. The part that is shining is the part that has gum. Normally you could actually iron it but I decided to use gum. So if you have an iron and there's light, you just iron this down on the shining part. You turn it to the um, material and you iron down. But I'm using B6000 and I use my hand and straighten it out like so. The next thing I do is to put my B7000 on the edges, the two edges, the top and the bottom. Once that's done, I fold it in like so on the top and the bottom. I used um, a light poly material actually. The client gave me pieces of material they used for the, um, the maid's cloth to make the bow ties for the groomsmen. So the light pulley actually comes out straightened when you do this. But if you use any other material, you might have to use iron to straighten it out after you've done. So it becomes straight. Next we do, we take the two parts that we have folded. You're going to be sewing one part on top of the other part, joining them together. So I'm going to be doing a running stitch all the way down like that to join the two parts. Okay, that's our finishing touch on the running stitch, joining the two parts together. So the next thing we're going to do is fold the bow into two on the length to get the midpoint where we're going to be putting the small bow parts. So that's it. I'm going to use my 
needle to identify that position it's almost close to that other part but we're going to use the gold part to join it all up so now we're going to fold it to form that bow shape watch closely so you know how to fold yours there are different kinds of folding but this is the folding i used for this bow and it turned out superb Once that's done, the next thing you do is to sew it together. It's quite difficult depending on the thickness of the material. So that's it. Then you take the small part that is going to be around the bowl. You fold it on the longest part. That's the three inches and you begin to sew back stitches. It's back stitches I'm using for this. So this is the same thing you're going to do with the long part, the band. Now take note, it was sewn upside down so that we can do this. Now we're going to turn it the right side up. We'll finish sewing it back stitches from one side to the other. And I'm using a screwdriver to turn it around to the right side. So that's what you do. And this is the same process you will follow with the band. Then you take one part, fold it in. Now take note, this is the same thing you're going to do to the band. You fold it in like so and you put your needle and sew it like that making sure you don't bring out the thread on each of the sides you're just showing inside so it's joined together you take the small the part that goes around the bowl you put it like so making sure the part that we sewed the edge is on top and we sew it so you sew from one side to the other side ensuring that when you come out to the part that shows and you're going in you're only taking a pinch so the thread it's not visible on the top part. Remember as I said before, the band is done the same way we did that small bow part. So we'll do running stitches all the way down and the reverse order. Then you turn it right side up. So that's it. Okay, we're done with the band. Now we do that tip just the same way we did the tip of the small band. So you're taking it through, making the side that it's sewn to be, can you see it there? It's um, on top there. So that by the time you fold it, you have the clean part showing. So we take our Velcro and um, one part will be on one side, the other one will be on the reverse side. I use B7000 first of all to attach it to the band to ensure it doesn't shift out of position before I sew it. Now remember, all this that I used my hand to sew, you could actually use a sewing machine if you have one. But I'm doing this, you know, it's Christmas season. You might not all have a sewing machine. So you do it like this. You can do this at home without a sewing machine. So get that bow tie done for your sons, for your fathers, for your husbands, for your brothers, and let them have it attached to their shirts on Christmas Day. All right, so what? Okay, so we're sewing the velcro when you're sewing just take the top layer of the material when you're sewing so it doesn't show on the other side so you're going to do it on both of the velcro on both sides remember one will be on top the other part will be on the reverse side 